Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nimi Geeta. So this is KC 2023 Life Science most important topic uh, discussion series. So this video is related to immunoglobulins that is antibodies and its types. So very very important topic not only for KC like CSIR, ICMR, DPT, JRF, ICR, many uh, life science exams are there, right? So for everything this uh, topic is important. Okay, so now without any further delay, let's get started. So first, move on to the different uh, classes of antibodies. Anyhow, five classes of antibodies are there. Okay, that is IgG, IgM, IgA, IgE, and also IgB. Okay, so one by one, we'll discuss now. So the first antibody is what that is IgM. When it comes to the structural difference, so IgM is the only antibody which is having pentamering structure. You can see five antibodies are there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it contains five, five antibodies. It is pentameric in structure. So next is the IgG, which is a monomeric in structure. You can see here only single Y-shape antibody is there. Okay, this is a monomer. Next is the IgA. This is a dimeric in structure, which contains two antibodies, one and also two. And IgE, this is also monomer. And IgD, this is also monomer. Okay, so more to the structure you can see here it is a pentameric in structure okay which is linked with the uh, some chains and all so next this is a monomeric in structure igg this is a dimeric in structure next ige and also igb okay so now come to the heavy chains usually the naming of these antibodies based on the heavy chains okay so mu in the case of igm that's why it named as say m and uh, gamma Okay, that is in the case of IgG. So next is the alpha in the case of IgA. So next epsilon, that is in the case of IgE. So next is the delta in the case of IgD. So based on the heavy chains, all antibodies are named. Okay. So next, uh, just similar like heavy chains, light chains are also present in antibodies. That is kappa and also lambda which uh, these two are similar for all antibodies for igg igm ig igd ig so for everything kappa and lambda are the light chains okay so next come to the number of antigen binding sites so here you can see y shape antibody is there somehow like this structure right so in this y shape antibody the there are some specific sites are there where antigen will come and bind Okay, for usually in the immune system, antibodies play a very ma uh, many major role, right? So how uh, antibody having a special structure, so where antigen will come and bind. So when antigen will come and bind, it will crystallize in the uh, FC region. It will destroy the anti antigens, right? So here you can see in the case of IgM, uh, ten antigen binding sites are there. So you see pentameric in structure. One antibody contains two antigen binding sites, that is 5 to 2, 10. Okay, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 here. Okay, so next come to the IgG. Uh, it contains two antigen binding sites here and also here. So next is the IgA. It is a dimeric in nature, which contains the four antigen binding sites. Okay, so next is the IgE, which is a monomer, which contains two antigen binding sites. Next, IgD. This also contains two antigen binding sites sites okay so next come to the molecular weight so igm is a 900000 daltons and igg 150000 daltons next iga 385000 daltons so next ige uh, 200000 daltons next igd 180000 uh, daltons okay so when come to the molecular weight igm is having higher molecular weight so after this igm iga so after this IgA, IgE, next IgD, so at last IgG, which contains the least molecular weight. Okay, so next percentage of total antibody in serum. So when come to the percentage of total antibody in the serum, IgG has a higher concentration, that is 80%. Okay, the abundant antibody which is present in the serum is that is what? That is IgG antibody. That is 80% IgG. So after this IgG, IgA, that is 13%, which is called as a secretory antibody, which is present in the tears, mucus and all. So next, after this, um, which one? IgA, 
IgM that is 6%. So next is the IgD 1%. So at last IgE it is a very less, it is 0.002%. Okay, so usually this IgE antibody present uh, during the allergic reactions. That's why the concentration is very, very less. Okay, so next crosses placenta. So only one antibody will cross the placenta that is IgG. See, only IgG will cross the placenta. Other antibodies will not cross the placenta. Okay, so while um, childbirth itself, uh, we gain some sort of immunity, right? So that is because of this IgG only. IgG during the fetus itself, this will this IgG antibody will cross the placenta and uh, give immunity to a newborn baby. Okay, so next is the fixes complement. So complement fixation has to be done when the antigens will come and bind for the crystallization or destroy of the antigens. So this complement fixation only takes place in IgM and also IgG. You can see the complement fixation only takes place in IgM and also IgG. There is no complement fixation in IgD, IgA and also IgE. Okay. So next FC binds to, FC means what? That is factor of crystallization. For example, this is antibody structure. Okay. So in this antibody structure, this is antigen binding site, which is called as a FAB. That is factor, factor of antigen binding site. And this region is there, right? So this region is called as a FC region. That is factor of crystallization. So when antigen will binding here, this antigen has to move here for the crystallization. That is, we have to, uh, our body has to destroy the antigen because if it retain in our body, it will uh, further cause some diseases, right? So that's why it has to do crystallization. So here, this FC is there, right? So this FC will binds to the phagocytes in the case of IgG. Phagocytosis, the engulfment. Here, what happened? Here, antigen is there. Okay, so uh, this antigen, okay, so this is antibody, so this is FC region, okay, so this FC region will bind to the phagocyte to engulf this antibody, just engulf it, okay. So next, in the case of IgE, this FC region will bind to the mast cells and also basophils. Usually this IgE perform in the case of allergic reactions, so because of these allergic reactions, this FC region has to bind to the Mast cells and also basophils. Okay, so these uh, three uh, antibodies will uh, gain crystallization and destroy the antigens. Okay, so next come to the function of these antibodies. So IgM is the main antibody of primary response. Based at fixing complement, the monomer form of IgM serves as a B cell receptor. So uh, in the in the responses itself, uh, two types of responses are there: primary and also secondary. So this IgM uh, plays a major role in the case of primary responses and also it is helps at the complement fixation and it this IgM is serves as a B cell receptor okay so here B cell is there okay on the surface of the B cell which is act as a receptor to uh, you know to bind the antigens to to phagocyte the antigens in the B cell this IgM is act as a B cell receptor okay so next, that is IgG, main blood antibody of secondary response, neutralizes the toxins and also opsonization. So this IgG antibody is uh, involved in the secondary response. So IgM in the primary response, IgG in the secondary response. Okay, so this is the main blood antibody, okay, and which will neutralize the toxins. If any toxins present in our body, it will neutralize itself. So next, which is helps for the opsonization, which will identify the phagocyte for the phagocytosis process. Okay. So next is the IgA. So usually IgA antibody is called as a secretory antibody. Why? Because it is secreted into mucus, tears, saliva, and also colostrum. Okay. So if any uh, any microorganisms enter through our mouth or else uh, through our you know nose, through the uh, eyes and all, so that microorganisms has to coming out right so for that thing with help of mucus with help of tears the microorganisms which enter inside our body right that will coming out okay so next is the ige it, it plays a major role in the allergic reaction and also anti-parasitic activity if any parasites present in our body suddenly ige concentration will increase okay if, if ige concentration is more in our body means what that indicates our body undergo allergic reactions or any parasites are present in our body okay so next, that is IgD, 
you can say this IGD is a secondary IgM because the same function which, which performs the similar like IgM, this is also serves as a B cell receptor. Okay, this chart is very, very important. Uh, just go through this uh, slide. That's more than enough in uh, mass following or else in direct questions also they mask. Not only in case it, in CSR part B also this type of questions will ask. Okay, I hope uh, this video will help. If any doubts, if any questions, let me know in the comment box. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.